All right, guys, Shannon the Plotty Gun Animator and Piracy and Kahoot Maker here. And I'm really sorry that I haven't done any Plotty Gun videos in a while. So, I promise next video I'll do it. I'll try my best, guys, to get you the best Plotty Gun um, information as soon as possible. All right, let's... So, this book is a sad book. And this is called The Sad to Force by me. And I got a new computer for Christmas. I forgot to tell you that, guys. Yeah, and it's even a white computer. And the keyboard lights up. But I'll show you when I'm done, guys. Alright, but for now, let's just start the book. So, let's start off with the people in the family. So, there's two kids. Freddy, who was 15 at the beginning. And Kathy, who was 6. Yeah, but if you remove a C and make it a K, that's my grandma's name. And, of course, the mom and dad. He's 35, and the mom's 32. Alright, so it starts off on one day on August 23rd, 2002. The four people went to London for four days. They booked a flight, and it took four hours for them to fly from Kansas to London. So there's all the passengers. You can't see them too good because they're really small from this view. When they arrived in London, it was raining so hard that they went inside the hotel immediately. This is all the rain. And they're getting in the hotel. Once they got in the hotel, they booked for stay for four nights. So there's for that, and there's the hotel broker. And if I mm, told you another thing, guys, then this woman speaks English. I mean, British. Yeah. She still speaks a British accent. Uh, I mean, an English accent, but um, she's British. Four days later, they arrived back home. So this is her house with a weird-looking roof and a cable. Yeah, I can draw it too good. On September 11, 2002, which was the one-year anniversary of 9-11, it was the kids' first day of school. So there are still a few passengers that still need to get to school. And then, there's them getting on the bus. Let's skip to December 2002. It was the first day of their holiday break. So there's breaking news. And then there's a Christmas tree. Christmas 2002. Kathy got a VR set and her older brother got an Intel GameCube. So there's a VR set and there's an Intel GameCube. It is now November 2003. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I thought, it was, I thought it said November, but it's actually now 2003. The kids are back to school. Adults are driving a lot to work. Right now in Tipton, Kansas, which is actually in real city, but I made it up. So there's a lot of people. There's a luggage. Yeah, there's a woman with a baby. Oh, the baby looks so tiny. Oh, just kidding. All right, now let's move on to the next page. December, I mean, January 7th, 2003. Dad called someone to come over to their house. If there's a woman, Brianna, hot and sweet. Yep, there's Colin. 20 minutes later, she came over and they had a romantic kiss. Yeah, she really loved this guy. Uh oh, looks like the next page she will get really, really mad. But we're not there yet. Mom is done with work, so she's getting home. Oh, sorry, that um, W looks a bit weird. Or looks like a Y. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally messed up with that um, W. Um, so, um, she stopped and got lunch. Chicken sandwich, kids meal, triple cheeseburger. Yeah. That's what a kid's meal looks like with a real-life fry waving. And then there's the adult meal. Yep. And the place is called Taylor's Burger and Sides. 
And you know what, guys, before I move on to the next page or say anything, um, I'll remaster this in Plotagon, this entire book. Let's start again. Um, when she got home, she was so, so, so in shock when she saw Dad and his girl kissing on the stairs. She already knew that, um, he was cheating on her. Yeah. She was so mad that I made her look like her eyes were burning. And then there's the boy saying, <gasps> and then the girl is still trying to kiss him, like, permanently. So this is when the uh, bad stuff started to occur. And there's a sad face. We're divorcing, you fat pig. Go live your, with your stupid kids. Shut up, you are a loser. You moron, you fat pig. Jerk. Fine. Yeah. They did not call each other good words at all. So the mean mad dad left the house with $960,000. Yeah. And he slams the door because he's so mad. He's like the mom. But one and a half weeks later, the mom was suffering from depression. Now she wants her husband back. Yeah, there's her eyes full of tears. Poor mom. Yeah, she felt really sad because um, she just looked at a picture of um her and her um um husband to marry it, and that made her sad because um she realized that when they used to be happy, but now they're just mad at each other. That's what's making her really sad and depressed. With dad, dad got himself a personal mansion all to himself, and yet he was a bit sad too. Yeah, he's thinking of the good memories they had with each other. Yeah, he started to feel sorry for cheating on her. And he kept an 1870s wear hat. Do not judge. Oh, that's page not you. I thought that was a little letter in the... I mean... Oh, never mind. I'm not going to make myself harsh. Mom went to the psychiatrist... Um, sorry if I can't say this word too well. The psychiatrist office for depression help. Yeah, this is a really big hospital. It's not really a hospital because it's not like a healthcare. It's just like, um, disease. I mean, I don't know how to say it, but, you know. But she went to a second floor to Dr. On's office. Mm. 14 a week, take two a day. Do you have depression? Then take two, um, free, what does that say? Oh, I think it says fees, pills. Um, this will help you. Thanks, yes, okay. Two years later, after a sad divorce, Dad was so mad and sad at the same time that he robbed the bank. Yeah, which is still not right, even if you do have depression. Then he got called to by the police. Oh, by the police, sorry. I don't know why I keep messing up. I hate it. Put your hands up, or I'll taser you. Yeah, so he puts his hands up. So the police took him to jail at the police station. He will spend a month in jail. But first they scammed him, and they found out... Out that he robbed the bank because he was very depressed. Yep. There's his example. So instead of putting him in jail, they gave him a warning. You are free. Thanks. Yeah, he's so happy. After he left the police station, he decided to come back and apologize to his ex-wife. Ex-wife means um, used to be its wife, but now um, she's not because she divorced. Oh, my dad came in. I didn't want you to hear my dad. He dinged the doorbell, and so the mom came over and said, What are you doing? Look, I am so sorry for everything. So then she decided to think about getting back with each other. Mm, I'll think about it. Okay. Thanks. Dad got some pizza for himself. Yeah, he's just looking at all the people with each other. Yeah, not single, but he is single, so is my mom and the kids. So there's a mom with a kid. There's a um adult um getting something for his aunt. Let's just say that.
two, two years later on June 29, 2006, um, the wife finally thought about it and she said, Oops, spoiler alert. I'm sorry if you can't see too well, but these are periods. Yes! Yay! Yeah. He rushed to their home by the time the oldest sibling moved out a year ago, but the younger sibling is in middle school. This is Kathy watching TikTok in front of her locker. She's in sixth grade. And this is Freddy's home. Not that bad looking. Like a two-story house. They had their first tug in a long, long, long time. Because it's been like... Two or three years since they got a kiss, since they divorced. And he promised he would never cheat on her again. Do you promise? Yes. The end. And that's them getting on a date and drinking beer. Alright guys, I'm done with the story. Alright, so, um, when I end this, I'm going to remaster it on Plotagon. Alright guys, I promise, I promise I'll do that. Bye.